Welcome back to the Breakfast Club. Let's now take you to a huge change that India has just made and this is a change in the way that we keep time. India is taking a major leap in timekeeping. Indian standard time will now be determined through GPS satellites, ensuring precise alignment with coordinated universal time. So Navi C is what it's called. It's India's indigenous navigation system and it'll soon provide the reference time across the entire nation. So the National Physical Laboratory in Faridabad, it'll receive time signals from Navi C. It'll then take those signals and distribute them across the entire country via optical fiber networks. What that means essentially is that time will be shared with centers in Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Bhubaneswar, Guwahati. Every state in the country will have its own atomic clock to ensure local accuracy. And this also means that smartphones, digital devices will soon display time that has been synchronized with that very atomic clock precision. But what is an atomic clock? What does that word actually mean? Atomic clocks are essentially the gold standard of accuracy. They function using the resonance frequency of atoms, allowing them to remain precise within a margin of just one second of every hundred million years. Now, why does any of this matter? With its own time distribution network, India will be able essentially to reduce dependence on foreign time systems, enhancing national security and obviously strengthening cyber security, something we've talked a lot about today. This technology will benefit critical sectors like power grids, like telecommunications, banking, defense, improving efficiency, security and coordination across the entire country. Okay, let's talk a little bit about sectoral advantages. Let's break them down for you. For power grids, what this will mean is more efficient load management and power distribution. When it comes to telecommunications, what you're going to have happening now is faster data transfers, seamless network coordination. When it comes to banking, you'll have precise stamp stamps for transactions, reducing fraud risks altogether. In defense, you'll have improved synchronization for critical operations. In cybersecurity, you'll have enhanced resilience against cyber threats and time-based attacks.